I just got back from court, and I wanted to remember before I forgot. My lawyer tried to tell me that um, the drug and alcohol evaluation stuff is from marijuana because Eric's never smoked no weed, boy. And uh, she tried to tell me that uh, her brother was blown up because her uh, he was smoking marijuana and blew up somebody, blew her up, set her on fire because he was smoking marijuana. First of all, I said BS. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll give you every situation that's unique because Eric blew up his friend just because his dad was an arson investigator. So I should think you should totally outlaw arson investigators or have every arson investor's kid submit to mental health evaluations so that you know whether or not they're going to blow up their freaking friend's neighbors. Right, she told me to no more videos because the court doesn't need to hear the trauma that they caused me. They don't need to hear me screaming in trauma anymore. Uh, um, then it said, ne never mind the videos I made before. Never mind, I've proven one accusation. First, it was that uh, we were in a rut. Then it was I had mental health issues. And then it was a, I was a drug addict. Uh, oh, I don't know how to I don't know how to appropriately interact with my children. I've proven each one of those falls. Every time he makes a new accusation, the courts continue to make me prove it, despite the fact that I'm saying you are torturing me. Mother of 27 years. Then my children were 11 and 13 when he took them and stopped us from seeing each other. This wasn't me and my children. It was him. We didn't do nothing wrong. They continue to let him have all the control. This is the worst case of sexual harassment, gender discrimination ever. Oh, and uh, my point also would be when I was silent, when I didn't say anything on Facebook or post anything on Facebook, did anybody ever help me? Did anybody ever ask me if he choked me with his dick? Not even my own counselor did because he was sitting in on my counseling sessions. So if the conversation ever turned anti-Eric, he was there to steer the conversation back to anti-Erica. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I really had faith that the courts and the police department would help me. Instead, I was informed by my lawyer, yeah, no, I probably can't accuse anybody of a crime ever again because the police will take into account that um, men trying to rape me have said I was crazy. Thanks. Despite, yeah, the sexual sadis sadisticness that he's shown towards me and the fact that the court's own statutes say that both parents will be investigated, one GAL for the children is all it would have taken. One GAL to come to both houses could have negated all of these accusations, but the court is unwilling to spend $1,500 on my children. They're willing to spend I don't know how much money to keep people on probation for drugs for years and years. People who aren't hurting nobody. They got plenty of money for that. They don't have money to, for a GAL for me at my children who could have dispelled all of these freaking myths right away. Instead, I'm told I need to disprove another allegation and when I'm asked why he doesn't have to disprove any because um, he said he didn't do it his words golden mine's shit uh, 41 years of no problems a, a model mother model citizen model wife I don't know how to fight these allegations my sister does because she's the one who's faced them for the last 14 years not me I don't know how to fight these allegations it's not me it's her and uh, that's another thing his uh, obsessed wife his obsessed ex-wife has slipped into the background saying she's moving to Spanaway uh, after not living here for 14 years. But she's going by Christensen and moving to Spanaway. And nobody even questions that my ID is missing, my SSI files. Um, now all that's kosher because I do it all the time. And he wouldn't do that. His word's golden. Oh, and as proof that I just have to continue... Um, Responding to one allegation after the other. Now they're saying that it's marijuana. Not that, that he accused me of methamphetamines because he has absolutely no proof. My house being too clean apparently is not proof of that. Um, apparently it's a proof of me being a pothead. And uh, even though we both smoke pot for, I don't know, since I was 12 years old, and him too, uh, he said he doesn't do it now that he's not around me and he has complete control of the children and what they say and do. Um, he, he doesn't do that. But I admitted it, that I smoke marijuana on the stand, and although it's legal for people over 21, I need to have a drug and alcohol evaluation. You guys, mm-hmm, this is ridiculous. And uh, it's just, once again, the new allegation. Come on. As if Eric's accusing me of marijuana. He built me a grow room.